I want to thank Kwasi and Fumi for the kind words that he gave it to me yesterday at the 100 Men Unity event at the Cultural Center. So Kwasi said, you got a job to do. You got to defend me. I'm an ex-felon. I'm an advocate. I'm an activist. I'm a community leader. I'm a business owner. I've been owning Shorty since 1997. I was kidnapped by the state for making a documentary about the prison industry, N62528. That's me right here, Baltimore County Detention Center. You feel me? 2011. Says I'm white. So I want white justice. Like I said, you work for us, we don't work for you. For 11 years, I've been fighting for my freedom. Shorty, pull your mask up? No, we're going to unmask Baltimore. We're going to talk about the politics in Baltimore. I got the Crown Award. Feel me? That's 2021 Crown Award. I'm looking for the 2022 Crown Award. But I'm looking for this more than anything. To criminally charge Scott Schellenberger. The same way that they did the Duke lacrosse team with Nafong, when Nafong filed those false charges against the Duke lacrosse team, Scott Schellenberger did the same thing here in Baltimore. Odette Ramos, Kaylin Young, the city solicitor, Mr. O'Shea. Y'all got this. Y'all got this information. And if you got knowledge of corruption, if you got knowledge of crimes, you're supposed to act on that information or it makes you parties to a crime. I'm not Emmett Till. I'm not George Floyd. I'm not none of these dead black men or black individuals because I don't stutter when I talk. When I holler mic check, I make you shit your drawers like Biggie Smalls. I was making a movie and a documentary about you killing us. The war on drugs. Because every time you stop somebody, you said they had drugs on them. It was drug related. You use the war on drugs as a template to kill black America. That's letters design. It's a movie. Potty training politicians, you feel me? It's legal. It's covered under the First Amendment of the Constitution. Freedom of speech. That's President Obama. He asked for an investigation when he was Senator Obama. That's Judge Carrion. Judge Carrion got this information. Natasha Digg, public defender, got this information. Eric Barron, the Department of Justice, got this information. President Biden and the Department of Justice got this information. Delegate Stephanie Smith has this information. And the IRS. We talk about $250 million intellectual property theft. That movie was worth $250 million. I had 14 other movies. Shorty, pull your mask up. That's going to be a movie. That's going to be a movie all in itself. This whole book going to turn it into a movie. So quite easy and full, man. Like I said, thank you for the kind words. But I need some work done. This is Shorty's. All right. Dwayne Shorty Davis. Citywide. Dwayne has been building communities in Baltimore for over 20 years and is passionate about bringing people together, getting them to think about things in new ways and taking care of them with good food. Dwayne will use this award to protect to, to pro his award, the project of good in the hood, which brings people together, shares food, ideas and strengthens communities across Baltimore. And these are the people that signed off on it. You feel me? We are weavers. Blacks have no rights in which white America respects. So I put it in a book. If you go to delegate, no, Senator Antonio Hayes, he got this book. Governor Hogan has this book. Eric Barron has this book. Sarah Marquette has this book. Jill P. Carter has this book. And we're talking about the prison industry right here. Consent to be videotaped. Everything that WJZ got. Everything that WJZ got. Everything parole and probation got. Consent to be videotaped. Play the whole videotape to the voters. See that? That's Caminets. Before Caminets died, you got to get all my paperwork that Caminets had. All right. Candidate filing receipt. Received 2013 State Board of Elections. Yeah, State Board of Elections. We're talking about voter suppression against inmates. Voter suppression against, against ex-felons. I was making a movie. 
fixed production film, all right? Movie release. And Governor Hogan got it. I was making a movie and a documentary. And it's right here. You feel me? Right here. That's Barbara Mikulski, 2009. You knew I was making the movie. Well, I got that one finished. And it's called Shorty, Champion for Justice. I am Dred Scott, being black in America. I got another movie called I'm Still Shorty, and I'm Still Standing. You feel me? You kidnapped me from my family. And we put it all on a disc right there. You feel me? We put it in a disc. And we're going to the Supreme Court with it. Like Chief Justice Robert, Chief. We going to the Supreme Court. Because like I said, I put it in a book. That's Ray Lewis. Like I said, we standing up for Black Lives Matter. That's Ray Lewis and Shorty. That's me at Ray Lewis's restaurant. And that's my restaurant on Falls Road. My store on Falls Road. And that's the Baltimore Sun. Pit on fire. That's Barbara Mikulski. You feel me? And Governor O'Malley appoints nine judges, including Senate leader's son. You got a lot of judges in these positions of power to incarcerate black Baltimore. That's Barbara Mikulski. That's WJZ. That's Commissioner Belfield. That's Frank Conway. You feel me? And that's my father. My father served this country in the United States Navy, and so did I. I'm an honorably discharged veteran. That's Towson State University coach back in 2006. That's Mayor Dixon, me, and the Equity Doc. And we're going to talk about that Equity Doc. All right? Sheila Dixon. Like I said, I put it in a book. I got Baltimore in a book. Y'all let Justin Fenton do We Own the City with Justin Fenton and the Baltimore Sun. I got a $250 million lawsuit, and it's going to come out of somebody's pockets. Because like I said, that's my mother and my father. Welcome to the shit show. And I got a lot of shit to show you. You feel me? I got a lot of shit to show you. I'm the king of talking shit, and I can back it up. And Governor Hogan got to put all that information out there. Fern Shen has evidence in her possession. Fern Shen has been shielding the corruption using her pen in the Baltimore brew. All right? So Fern Shen, I'm going to be posting up at your house. You already got a, some tennis shoes. You're going to get a lot more. You got a tennis shoes and you got a toilet. I'm going to start leaving toilets at Fern Shen's house. That's Jane Miller, WBAL. She got that. And we're talking about these cases here. You feel me? <laughs> Commissioner Davis got this. And if you go directly to Senator Kelly, he's in the movie. Him and his wife. That's Omar from The Wire. All right? And like I said, I applied for Martin Luther King's job. Civil Rights Act, public accommodations. You feel me? I own shorties. I own all parts of me. That's my Freedom Fighter Award from 2018. Giordano Group and the Be More News, Malcolm X Day, May 2018. That's my nephew, Joe Davis. We rise. We rise. Get that book. It's a book of poems, prayers for graduates. Go to Mark Clark and the Big Fat Morning Show, Fox 45, 92Q, TV1, Roland Martin. All right? That's shorties. And I gave you the shorty program, the political part of it. That's my Community Verizon Award. That's Wes Moore. That's my Community Verizon Award, Community Innovator Award, Dwayne Shorty Davis, Community Activist. That's from 2016. So, Kwaise, let's take a walk up these stairs. That's me in Zion, Illinois. Facebook, my past. That's the best of best of Baltimore, 2021. Me at Raven Stadium. Put me in, coach. I'm ready to play. We talking about the cover-up crew. We talking about Tessa. We talking about Ben Jealous. We talking about Kobe Little, C.D. Witherspoon. Yeah, we got the cover-up crew. And I got it all on the toilet. It's a time to pee. See, a toilet don't care if you're black, white, straight, or gay. A toilet take your shit every day. It don't care if you're a woman or a man. It don't care if you're transgender, LBG. It don't care if you're rich or poor. 
But we're going to talk about this in 2022. It's a time to pee. It's better to be pissed off than pissed on. You don't get as wet. Right here. Kwaise. Right here. Guilty plea and Christmas Eve bomb threat. I never made a bomb threat. That's that Karen shit. The Baltimore, no, the walking in New Sun, Miss Jones lied to the people. She lied to get an indictment and she got to pay for that. The walking in New Sun, the Chicago Tribune, the Baltimore Sun, y'all lied to the people. That's parole and probation. Like I said, I'm not Emmett Till. I kept everything documented. Everything I did is documented. Parole and probation. And Marilyn Mosby has been shielding this since 2014. She's been covering it up. She don't care about the Innocence Project. You got thousands of people that should be released. So, Westmore, here's the story. I voted. I voted for President Obama. Now I'm going to vote for you. Thank you for contacting our, all right, Chicago office. Please allow 30 to 60 days. I never got an investigation, so I did an investigation on my own. I did it on my own. That's one book. That's Westmore. Shorty, pull your mask up. No, we're going to unmask Baltimore because that's the cases right there. That's the forged check right there. I was locked up in another state. That's not my signature. And that's the state of Maryland accepting the forged check. All right. That's the forgery. That's the fuckery. All right. Civilian review board, excessive force, abusive language, harassment, false imprisonment, false arrest. A complaint to the Office of Civil Rights and Wages Enforcement. I gave that to y'all. I gave it to Caitlin the other day. Y'all locked me up for this toilet. This toilet was a rep represented how you treat the blacks in Baltimore County. That's a DVD. That's a cell phone. And it clearly states, do not destroy this evidence. Use it for Facebook. That had Richard Shear on it. It had my producer on it. It had everybody who's anybody in Baltimore on that toilet. Do blacks have rights in which white America respects? Well, I gave you the Underground Railroad. I gave you Frederick Douglass. I gave you being black in Baltimore. And I gave you a toilet. Community in crisis. You feel me? Community in crisis. We're talking about my sons and my daughters keeping my kids alive. That's the NAACP. Benjamin Jealous, Kobe Lillo, Joshua Harris. Made a movie about y'all too. Rob Fix Production. Moses parted the Red Sea. Shorty parted some rednecks. And Mr. Stenny Hoyer, it's Constitution Day. First Amendment. Freedom of speech. Freedom of assembly. I got a right to make a movie. The movie's about Baltimore. It's about Westmore. It's about the Democratic Party. Maryland's prison industry. Your cash cow. You feel me? 